Hi, I'm Jennifer Waters, the director of the Nikon Imaging Center at Harvard Medical School. And this presentation is on problems that can occur when immersion oil is used incorrectly. I'm going to discuss three different problems with immersion oil. The first is when immersion oil is used with a lens that was designed to be used without any immersion media, which we call a dry lens. When an objective lens is designed, the optical engineer assumes that the lens will either be used dry or with a particular type of immersion media. So immersion oil is essential to an oil immersion lens, but it's detrimental to a dry lens. Image quality will suffer greatly if there's any immersion oil on a dry lens. So you might be wondering, how do I know if I should oil a lens or not? Well, there's actually a really useful banding system that all of the major microscope manufacturers use on their objective lenses. So an objective lens is marked with a thicker band that tells you what magnification it is. So a dark blue band, for example, tells you that this is a 60x objective. Just above that band, the presence of another band tells you that it is an oil or water or glycerin immersion objective lens with a black band, meaning that it's supposed to be used with immersion oil. If an objective lens is not meant to be used with immersion oil, it'll still have that band that indicates the magnification, but there will not be a black band um, or any band above the magnification band. So this makes it really easy to know if you should oil a lens or not. You just want to look for that black band. If you see the black band, then oil the lens. If you don't see the black band, then do not oil the lens. Perhaps an even worse problem with immersion oil is when too much immersion oil is used. And that's because this can lead to um, problems with the objective lens that need to be repaired. I should point out that using too much immersion oil is more of an issue for inverted microscopes versus upright. I think it'll become clear why as I walk through it. Most objective lenses have an inner barrel and an outer barrel. And the inner barrel is spring mounted so that if pressure is placed on the inner barrel, it retracts into the outer barrel. And this is a safety mechanism so that if when you're focusing the objective lens, you miss the focal plane and you continue to move the objective towards your sample, the lens has some space to retract into the outer barrel before you will break the sample. So it's a really important mechanism to take care of. When too much immersion oil is used, it can drip down the side of the objective and get in between the inner barrel and outer barrel. And then immersion oil dries over time, so it can get very sticky. And so instead of the lens retracting when pressure is placed on it, it will become stuck. So no matter how much pressure you place on it, it will not retract. To minimize the risk of breaking samples when focusing, you should return a lens that has a stuck spring mount to the manufacturer so it can be repaired. So you wanna make sure that you're not using too much oil on the objective lens. The way to do that is to turn the oil dropper upside down. Don't squeeze it. You don't wanna squeeze oil all over the objective lens. Let gravity pull the oil to the tip of the dropper and watch for that oil droplet to form. Now you want to touch that oil droplet to the lens. Don't touch the dropper to the lens. That could damage the lens. You just want to touch the oil droplet. And at this point you want to make sure that the oil isn't dripping down the sides. It should stay on the flat surface of the lens. Next, you're gonna place your sample onto the stage. And as you do that, look at the objective lens so that when you bring the focus, the lens up to the dish, you'll see the oil spread across the lens. Again, you wanna make sure that the oil is not dripping down the sides of the lens. 
So now you've finished with that dish and you want to put a new dish on. This is where you have to be really careful. You do not want to add more oil before you put on the next sample. There is plenty of immersion oil left on that lens. If you do add more oil, there's going to be too much sitting on the lens. You might see the oil drip immediately down the sides of the objective lens, so you know right away that you've done something wrong. But it also might just sit at this stage on the top of the objective lens. But then once you add a sample and you begin moving that sample around and changing focus, the immersion oil can drip down the side and this is where it can get into the area between the inner and outer barrel. At the end of your imaging session, you should use a piece of lens paper to wick the oil off the lens. There's no need to put any pressure on the lens, just wick the oil off. If you find that there is oil on the metal surface that has dripped down, you can use lens paper and your finger to carefully wipe that oil away. You don't want to ever put any pressure on the lens with your finger, so only do this on the metal surface. Another problem that can occur is immersion oil seeping underneath the top lens of the objective. Over time, the cement that holds the top lens into place can become porous, and immersion oil can seep through those pores and get underneath the top lens of the objective. It can be difficult to identify oil under a top lens at first. It's easiest if you compare it to a lens that's fine. The lens that has oil under it, you'll see the reflection of that oil um, underneath the top lens. And unfortunately, if oil does accumulate under the top lens, this is another case where the objective lens needs to be shipped back to the manufacturer so they can take the top lens out clean it out and replace it. If you do find oil under the top lens, it's not necessarily an indication that you've done something wrong. As objectives age, it does become more likely that oil will seep through the cement and accumulate under the lens. However, it can be accelerated by using solvents too often to clean the lens. Cleaning lenses is a topic for another video. I hope this has been helpful. Don't use too much immersion oil on your objectives.